Thank you for joining us today. We're sitting with Mr. Mike Merritt, VP of Customer Success at Contiki. Contiki is a leading enterprise video company, and specifically today we're talking about their first to market video portal, Media Center. Well, thanks for joining us, Mike. Thanks for having me. All right, and so specifically about Media Center, tell us why you feel that, or why Contiki feels that the market's ready for such a solution. Well, we started seeing a lot of interest for a, a solution like this, and to me, it should come as no surprise. So when you look at the consumer side of things, which is where everything starts now, Netflix, Hulu, they are just dominating right now. Mm -hmm. Millions and millions of videos served every day. It's a great experience, and what uh, consumers are doing, they're going to work. And when they're at work, they're demanding to have a similar application to that. And so that's where some of the demand is coming from. The other part is around video production. It used to be very expensive and kind of precarious to produce video. Now, almost any smartphone today can produce a really good quality video. Right. So create, creating content is, is cheaper, easy, it's fast. So that's driving demand as well. Here, let me show you. So this is the Media Center homepage here. And what's great about this is you can actually have multiple home pages for different divisions and each can have their own complete custom look and feel. Of course you can customize it further with the CSS and, and graphics to make it look completely like your own brand. So you can have as many channels as you want within Media Center. It's really easy to manage them. Just select it and hit edit. And then you can refine the details of the channel the security, so who can access that page and who can upload content to it. And then the coolest part is the content panels. So this is all the different groups of videos that are listed on the channel homepage. You can literally just drag and drop videos directly into the page. And then to adjust the, the panel order itself, you can drag and, and drop the panels themselves. So on the video page, you can see the the video itself is front and center, just like Hulu or Netflix or any of the consumer portals. Um, you also see there's related videos that you can add on the right-hand side here. And then there's the social features, allowing users to rate the video, to comment and ask questions on, on the video. Now, if I wanted to edit this, I would just click Edit here. And then I can actually do things like download the original source file, I can actually trim the start and stop of the video. I can uh, set the security or tweak the security on the video, make it a private video or restrict it to an Active Directory group. Or I could do things like moderate the comments or add tags. Our goal was to make adding a video to Media Center as easy and quick as possible. So you literally can do this in under 30 seconds. You just pick any kind of file type you want, select upload, put a title in, and you're done. Now, we offer some more advanced choices. So for example, if you wanted to change the standard quality up to HD or, or some other aspect, you could do that. You could publish it directly to a channel. You could change the security options or add some related links and, and content to it. All that stuff is possible, but not required. And of course, all of this, if you have it set up to require a, a moderator approval, all of this would then dump the, the, the video into the approval bucket. And so with regards to management capabilities, a lot of organizations look to have management functionality integrated into the platform. Tell us how Media Center addresses that. Yeah, so when it comes to an enterprise video portal, having that power that the the power to control and, and enact governance in the portal is, is critical. So we've weaved governance tools throughout the portal. You have the ability to do things like um, set who can access the portal, what groups can access the portal, who can upload, who can view content, who can actually comment or whether comments are enabled or not. Mm. There's all kinds of tools that are weaved throughout. The second piece is really focusing on making it easy for publishers to control and customize their page. And all that can be done with point and click. In fact, let me show you a, a few things here. So when we talk about governance, this, this page here, the user management page is, is really key. It gives you the ability to point and click and select your global administrators, assign who can actually uh, 
view the overall portal and who can contribute to it. Or for individual channels, you can completely manage the access rights for, for those channels. And even down to the content level, any individual piece of content on Media Center, the administrator can actually go in and modify the settings. So on the tag management page, we give you a lot of opportunity to manage your tag universe. So to find the master tags, to find who can actually create tags if you want to restrict it to a set list of tags, uh, or even replace an existing tag with a new one. And in the example, like you might have a merger where, where there's a brand change. Oh, that's terrific, yeah. In fact, so we know that video is very complex. That's what a lot of people think of when they think of video. In that regards, tell us how Contiki is equipped to handle the complexities in video such that the different formats, devices, and types that people can upload into Media Center. Yeah, to me that's one of the greatest benefits that this solution provides. So most people may not realize that every type of device records video in some kind of different format. And then each device also consumes video in a different format. Mm. Standards are a little if iffy right now. Those are coming along. What we've done is built in a middleware engine into Media Center that allows us to accept virtually any format. And then we take that, convert it according to your standards, and then detect the device and deliver the appropriate format based on that specific device. So on a laptop, it'll show one format. On a mobile device, like the one you've got there, it'll actually show a completely different format that's adapted just to the interface of that device. Wow, that's terrific. So Mike, it definitely sounds like Media Center can handle the complexity of video. Talk to us about some of the use cases you see in the market today. Yeah, our customers do some really creative things with Media Center, and I love seeing every day this new use cases pop up. Um, I see three different use cases commonly that I think add a lot of value to the enterprise. Um, first one is knowledge transfer. So there are people throughout an enterprise that are really good at doing specific things. But how do you find those people? How do, you, how do they explain to others how to do that process? Video is sometimes the best way to do that because it, it's visual, you can get the nuances in there. So if you allow them to just record a, a quick video, it takes five minutes and upload it to a, a video portal, they can save a ton of time and expand the knowledge out there of that particular process. So knowledge and uh, transfer and, and training. Uh, second piece is around live and on demand. Mm. So previously live was kind of on an island. You would do a webcast, that was kind of separate. Some people could attend, some couldn't. Uh, because of scheduling conflicts and things like that. And then when it was over with, it would kind of sit off to the side. With Media Center, our customers have been using it to integrate live and on demand in the same portal. So they'll have a live event within Media Center. A lot of people will attend that. And then when it's done, that'll instantly turn into on demand, integrated into the portal with all the related videos. So for an all hands, you might actually have each division president actually have their own video and have all that in one unified portal. Uh, and then the third piece is, and this is just you know, something that's been going on for a long time, but um, delivery. So not every enterprise can actually deliver high quality video within their network. So because Media Center takes advantage of Contiki's uh, ECDN technology, delivery technology, that's something that we see coming up more and more, and that more enterprises are jumping on the, the video bandwagon because they can. Sounds like that's terrific. You're enabling organizations to deliver the video for training, for live, for video on demand, whatever it may be. Yep. That's great. And so regarding consuming the content in Media Center, if somebody did not navigate to Media Center as a destination, where else could they view this content or consume it? So that's a question that comes up at, at the beginning of every customer relationship we have. Do I want my own dedicated video portal or do I want it peppered throughout existing applications that I have, for example, like my intranet? And for us, that's not an either or question. I really believe that is a and answer so that you want to have video in a dedicated portal, when users are in that video frame of mind, 
you also want to integrate it into existing applications so that when they're going about their business looking for uh, inf information on a particular source, mm -hmm. there's a video there. And so you, you'll start seeing your usage go up. Let me actually show you some of these integrations that we have. Great. So you see here we've got uh, SharePoint web parts. Mm -hmm. We have integration with Microsoft Link, Salesforce Chatter. We also have uh, an integration with uh, Saba, which is a learning management system. Wow. And you know a bunch of things are, are possible because it's all API based. That's outstanding. I'm very excited to see this Media Center tool. In fact, I think I should upload this interview to that Media Center now. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We've been sitting here with Mr. Mike Merritt, VP of Customer Success at Contiki, and speaking specifically about the first looks at their video portal, Media Center. Thanks again, Mike, for joining us. Hey, thank you.